All right, so this video is going to be pretty much a complete guide to the Misty Island event. A lot of people are have a lot of questions on how this works, and I hope to go over everything from the tutorial to the chapter and how the points work, how to get the totem and whatnot. So please watch the entire video, and hopefully by the end of it, you'll know exactly what to do and be in a good place. This event's actually pretty fun, to be honest. It might seem kind of aids but personally i think it's pretty fun it's very very different we've never had an event like this before and it's pretty unique to be honest there's a lot of variability in your play style you can make it kind of like how you like to so although this does serve as like a guide a lot of this event is you know up to your own choosing and you could go about it how you want but basically the first thing that you're gonna do when you get to the island is talk to polian and you're gonna have to go through the tutorial if you can't enter the tutorial right away because there's only a certain amount of people that could enter at the same time just keep spamming it and eventually you'll get in well the tutorial is pretty straightforward you might fail it the first time but you're probably not going to fail two times in a row basically you're going to be watching footage of like me doing the tutorial basically once you start you're gonna have to interact on the floor to get wood and stone it's all very like clearly labeled in the tutorial like what you have to do it's not too difficult to understand but yeah once you get your wood and stone craft the bonfire and that's like the first part of the tutorial done and with the bonfire you can place it down by double clicking on it in your inventory and then go ahead and attack some monsters to get food loot the loot the food and put it in the bonfire by clicking on the bonfire and once you cook the food you're able to eat it and you'll notice that you have three different bars at the bottom health acting power and fullness uh health is obvious uh acting power is basically like your stamina meaning like if you're hitting monsters or mining or chopping trees like you have only a certain amount of energy that you can do that with and then fullness that's the most important one so fullness is pretty much the the key to this entire event as long as you have food you'll survive pretty much you got to always make sure that you have food every time it starts getting low go ahead and hit some mobs so you can get more food uh after that you're gonna have to go towards the left i recommend crafting a sword so you can start killing mobs and goblins faster once you do that i recommend crafting an axe and interacting on trees with it you don't hit the trees you have to press interact with your tool and at this point a pro tip is definitely to put your tools on a hotkey if you put your tools on a hotkey you could swap between them really really quickly so definitely do that so yeah once you craft an axe you'll be able to get a lot of wood and leaves and you need that for a majority of the crafting um you're gonna have to create a palm tent a little bit after that uh Crafting materials are super easy for that. Just place it down and um, you'll be able to skip the rain. Uh, next thing from there I recommend is getting some iron. So you're going to need a stone pickaxe for that. Uh, find some iron rocks and then hold down interact and um, you'll be able to get... You're going to have to create a campfire for cooking. And with that, you'll be towards the end of this. The last thing they're gonna ask you to do is create a crossbow tower and a wooden wall. Very simple materials, you just need a bit of iron, wood, and stone. And once you place them down on the top left, they have designated areas. All you have to do is smack the goblins that pull up and that's it, you're done with the tutorial. And once you're done with the tutorial, this is when like the main part of the event starts. So the way this works is there's three different chapters. Chapter 1, Chapter 2, and Chapter 3. Uh, chapter 1 is what we have right now. Chapter 2 will come out next week. And Chapter 3 slash challenge mode will come out in two weeks as of this video. And basically all you have to do is complete each chapter once and then you get the rewards for it. Now, I don't recommend just doing the chapter and then stopping there. I actually do recommend doing this as many times as you can throughout the week. You can complete it daily and get 200 points every single time you do it. I recommend doing that as many days as you can. 
uh, you know, if you get bored, obviously you don't do it, but it does make things a lot easier because with those daily points, you can talk to Sonia and put in those points to make it easier for you. There's so many different options you could put your points in. I recommend harvesting and attack power so that you can get resources much faster and you're stronger. But there's a lot of other like good skills that we'll get over over the weeks and it's kind of broken. It'll make your life way easier because the first time you complete a chapter is the hardest because every single time after that, um, you'll get more and more and more points and it'll just be easier and easier and easier and easier. So I definitely do recommend doing this. So you can kind of call it a daily. It's not a mandatory daily. It's just highly recommended daily. So yeah, for chapter one, uh, some tips for chapter one, because I also completed that. How chapter one works is every single three days, there's a raid of goblins that attack the gem in the middle and they get more difficult every single raid. So the first three days is just pretty much gathering resources. Um, I recommend getting iron tools as quickly as possible because they're just broken. Like you'll gather resources so much faster with iron tools versus stone tools. Um, you don't necessarily need any defenses for raid one. All you need is a weapon and you can manu manually just go and kill the goblins yourself left and right side. For all the bosses, make sure you stand behind the bosses in the raids. That way you will take very minimal damage and you won't die. Uh, days three through six, uh, kind of like the middle part of chapter one, I recommend going to get gold. You got to venture out a little further to get gold. But gold is even more broken than iron. You don't need too much gold, but I definitely recommend getting enough gold to get the golden decorative hammer. The golden decorative hammer is so fucking strong, bro. Like, it's actually like a broken ass item. So, I recommend getting that item. Like, that, that'll, it'll carry you. It, it like one shots all the mobs. Um, except for the bosses, obviously, but it does a ton of damage. Uh, I also recommend crafting shoes. It'll increase your speed. So, that helps a lot. Yeah, and once you got all that set up, the last thing is I'd recommend crafting defenses. So craft a crossbow tower, craft stone walls. Stone walls are pretty broken too. They'll keep the mobs behind the wall for a while. So yeah, once you got your stone walls, your crossbow tower, that's pretty much it. The rest of the day, seven through 10, just make sure you upkeep your food. And again, I got to reiterate, food is the most important thing. Like every time you get low, just stop what you're doing and go get food because you'll die without the food. So yeah, and then by, by day seven, maybe day eight, like you should be set. Like by after the second raid, you should be set for chapter one and you'll be good to go. And yeah, since once you completed chapter one, you can get your rewards and that's it. Like your requirement for chapter one is completed. And then every single day after that until chapter two releases is just doing chapter one over again just to get points so that you could increase your stats through Sonia in the island. In regards to the totem, the totem unlocks after chapter three. You don't got to worry about anything really until chapter three comes out and then the totem unlocks and the flames to get the totem, you get them from the challenge missions, which is also when chapter three unlocks. Challenge missions are just a bunch of random different things like kill X amount of mobs and you'll get the flames that way for the totem. This totem, you can only get it on one character per world. So it's not like you could do it on all your characters. Just to give you some final tips, uh, I recommend getting good tools immediately and keeping up your food. As long as you have good tools and you keep up your food, this entire thing is really, really easy. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you understand this event better and yeah, good luck.